There's an awful lot to be said for playing things slowly and accurately rather than quickly and wrong. And uh, that's what I'm working on those. Those um, melodic minor scales are great. That exercise, it just kind of in F was really confusing because you've got all the extra flats to think about. So you've had three vlogs in three days on the bounce. So kind of creative breaks are sometimes good. I am trying to make sure I get my practice, get my tick offs for this run. I'd suggest, well, I said I was gonna start yesterday, get back in, try and fill all those uh, empty days that are on the top there from August to the middle of October, practice every single day. I mean, for 82 days consecutive practice. As I said, I've done over a hundred nod days before, but kind of haven't quite got around to doing all the rest of them. <laughs> So let's talk about hair, or the lack of it. <laughs> when I was at school, we used to be quite horrible to some of the teachers and thought the greatest insult you could hurl at someone was baldy. Um, now, it kind of doesn't bother me at all. I mean, yeah, okay, I've enjoyed various different hairstyles, including lots of hair when I was 15, 16. Not so much as I was in my early 20s and used to shave it deliberately just for the sake of it. Now, um, when I would like more hair to play with every now and again. But, you know, it kind of, apart from the uh, love child of Boris Johnson, um, I think um, we've gone through some various different hairstyles. And now I'm in that situation now where I bought my own clippers yesterday. And sadly, as I, I went to film it a little bit, but I used the beard trimming settings on the new razors rather than the guard for hair. So it's a little bit shorter than Katie wanted it to be. Um, I'm quite happy with it like this. But do you know what? It's one of those things. They do say it's supposed to be from your maternal grandfather, but my maternal grandfather had a full head of hair until the day he died at 85. My paternal grandfather, my grandpa, well, he was bald by about the age of 21. Here he is with a picture of me when I was about three. And here he is at Katie and I's wedding. And he lived at 89 and kind of looked the same for most of his life. So I'll take that one. I'll take uh, um, what grandpa left me in terms of that. But hey, guys, if it does, don't do a Rooney. Don't have a hair transplant. It's not necessary. Um, as they say in Phoenix Nights, skin is in <laughs> but let's see here we go anyway i am going to head off and grab hopefully grab the new vlogging camera before nipping up to play cricket hopefully we won't get rained off i'm going to pop the drone with me down to hemingford and i might have a go at trying to capture you some nice footage i've literally driven out of our street and there is rain on my windscreen so whether we'll be playing cricket tonight i do not know and the clouds over there look extremely threatening. But I've got to go and pick this camera up anyway, so it's not a totally wasted trip, and we'll see what happens when I check my emails after we've been up there. So why am I getting uh, a new vlogging camera? Two main reasons. Number one, at the moment, it is really not easy to get videos off the iPhone. It used to be incredibly easy. They used to be in Final Cut Pro. You used to just shoot them. They'd upload to their iCloud and then come across onto Final Cut. Now they don't, they don't transfer via image transfer, they don't transfer via iCloud, it's just an absolute nightmare. For the last few vlogs, every time I've tried to capture the video from the iPhone onto my computer to edit it, I have had to transfer it to Dropbox and then transfer it from Dropbox into Final Cut. Which is okay, but it's a bit of a pain in the backside. But the iPhone camera, it's good, but it's not a brilliant vlogging camera. And I want to try and give you, especially a subscriber account is getting higher and higher and higher. I really value your subscription. I want to make the best videos I possibly can. That doesn't mean necessarily getting the most expensive equipment, but it means getting the best tools for the job. The second reason is, and I've explained this before, the DSLR, whilst capturing fantastic pictures and that Canon, just shoot some amazing footage especially with the right lighting it's really obtrusive and when I'm in London 
or even in Cambridge or out and about, it looks really weird's not the right, it, it just really draws attention. And when you're vlogging, you don't really want to necessarily want to be drawing attention to yourself while you're filming. You kind of want people to be natural so it makes a better video for you guys. I hope I can be a little bit more off the cuff, a little bit more, I see something inspired, I can immediately shoot it with a really good camera. So we'll see. This is not going to be the greatest unboxing ever and I will do a proper review of this camera soon. And of course, I'm very much reliant on the fact that Canon May have actually put some charge in this thing. Because if it doesn't have any charge, in fact, you know what, it doesn't even have a memory card, I remember now. So, no, no charge. Not even a smidgen of battery life in it. Oh well. to fly the drone today. Uh, that landing was a little bumpy, certainly better than the one I did in France when uh, I broke three propeller blades. But uh, yeah, it's up high, it's very, very windy. So hopefully the cricket game will still be on. It's not raining yet, which is good. It's only about 10 minutes till we start. So I'm gonna get around to the cricket ground now. One of the many reasons I love cricket is that like tonight, we can be getting hammered as our team were, because the other team batted first. We're not getting any runs, we're losing wickets. I was just about to go into bat and then it starts to chuck it down with rain. The game's abandoned and nobody wins. Such is the cruel look of the English summer. Although it happens the other way around. I've been playing in teams where we've been on top, it rains and then there's no result. So, heading home a little earlier than I thought, just organizing to get a Chinese with Katie and that'll be a nice little <coughs> end to the evening. Sorry I didn't get any footage of the cricket. I really wanted to send the drone up, but as I was going to do so, well, A, we lost too many wickets, and then B, the weather's just not been conducive to doing that. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get a little bit more in the vlog. If I don't, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being kind about the way men feel about their hair. I'm pretty comfortable with mine, but there are lots of guys out there who are not, but I'll never wear a wig. Um, it is what it is. You just keep it short and you, um, just accept the way it is. It's just one of those things that as men we have to deal with. Thank you very much for watching. See you really soon.